In this interview, Robert Downing Jr. is asked some rather sensitive questions about his past that he had told them beforehand he wasn't going to answer. So when the question comes up, he simply leaves the room. The reason I'm asking about the past is that you, you've talked in other interviews again about um, your relationship with your father and the role of all of that in uh, you know, the dark periods you entered and, and taking drugs and drinking and all of that. You know, you, you, you think you're free of all of that or whether that's still something I'm sorry, you... I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? I, I, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. Right. Okay, that's okay. Bye. Thank you. Are you... Oh, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> it's okay to go into a movie and enjoy the violence. Yeah, well, it's a movie. It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. It's not real life. It's a fantasy. You go and you watch, you know, you watch a, you watch a kung fu movie and one guy takes on 100 people in a restaurant. That's a similar outburst moment happened when the same reporter asked Quentin Tarantino a question about the violence in his movies. Quentin was none too impressed and had a few choice things to say to the reporter. But why are you so sure that there's no link between enjoying movie violence and enjoying real violence? I don't, I, well, I'm gonna tell you why I'm so sure. Don't, don't ask me a question like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not biting. I refuse your question. Why? Because I refuse your question. I'm not your slave and you're not my master. You I'm can't just, make me dance to your tune. I, I I'm, not, ever, I'm not a monkey. I I'm can't not, make it, you answer anything. I'm just, it, I'm well, asking and, you interesting and, questions. And, and I'm saying, and I'm saying I refuse. Okay, well, no, I was just asking you why, that's fine. Um, in this interview for the Beauty and the Beast, Emma Watson is asked a rather personal question about what her fans have been telling her due to her views on feminism and her personal look. What but were people saying about you? They were saying that I couldn't be a feminist and... And have boobs. And have boobs. That's not yeah. true. Feminism is about giving women choice. Feminism is not a stick with which to beat other women with. It's about freedom. It's about liberation. It's about equality. It's not, I really don't know what my tits have to do with it. It's very confusing. So you probably don't have the same body worries as the rest of us, but did, was there a bit of you that thought, oh my God, that's tight? First of all, every woman has body worries. I mean, um, I'm not, uh, exempt from that. Scarlett Johansson gets a lot of questions about sexuality and what she looks like in various movies, especially with doing the Avengers and her character, the Black Widow. She always handles it with grace and humor. Were you able to wear undergarments? If You're you the, like the fifth person that's asking. Well, no, that because it, what is going on? <laughs> What, since when did people start asking each other about, in interviews no, about their no, underwear? No, because it is such a skin tight. Here's I'll why. I'll leave it up to your imagination. Uh, <laughs> what do you feel like I should be wearing or not wearing under that costume? This is not a... Is what I... W w it, it, well, is, well, is huh? it inappropriate? To ask somebody what kind of underpants they wear? I didn't ask you what kind. You just asked me if I was wearing any. Ariana Grande is asked whether or not she can go without her cell phone, and she replies that she prefers to be in the moment. Then one of the interviewers throws an off-the-cuff comment that girls should learn. She pops back that boys should learn too. If you could use makeup or your phone one last time, which one would you pick? Makeup or your phone? Is this one what you think time? girls have trouble choosing? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Can you really go anywhere without your cell phone? Yes. How long Ooh. can you go without looking at Twitter? Many hours. 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 Many hours. I don't believe it. Absolutely, yeah. I have to do it. But, you know, when I'm at a dinner table, I like to be present and talking. Oh, Good quality. Like Eye contact. Ladies learn. learn. Yeah. Listen yeah. and yeah. learn, yeah. ladies. Boys oh, learn. Oh. Right now, we got our. Have nice you seen water. the new boys and girls? We can all learn. Yeah. It's clearly going brilliantly in your career. I just wondered if you are as happy in your private life, and will we be seeing a certain Mr. Ashton Kutcher perhaps making a trip over here? Wow, how disappointing was that question? <laughs> Should we move on to another one? <laughs> Absolutely. I think there was a question. Uh, we've got to move on. I think I'm happy a and I'm here. single. If that's what you're really asking. During this interview of the release of her new scent for men, Rihanna is asked what she's looking for in a man, and her reply is pretty interesting. Some Italian bergamot, some mandarin, but it's sexy. And what are you looking for in the next man? Pardon? What are you looking for in a man now to wear this cologne? I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. It's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rap piece of oh, like you. come on, like... No, because you're a piece of All right. Really we're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up this interview. Thank you for, thank you for coming in. 
In this awkward interview, Mike Tyson is being asked about his new book release. However, they get on a touchy subject about cocaine, and he decides to deflect it to just read the book. So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, uh, Mike, what your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is it well, pre something yeah, that pretty much all, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. I, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. I forgot what I was going to say. They, they recognize you. They say, oh, my God, are you? No, but are that's you? not funny anymore. No, it's fine. <laughs> what what they do? They asked if who you are, and then I go, yeah, all of me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they asked them. Somehow they whipped a camera out, and I don't know where the hell they got right a, a camera. They have a camera in the steam room. In this older recording of the David Letterman show, Jennifer Aniston is a guest and she talks about her experience about being recognized in a steam room at the gym. Well, after this experience, David Letterman asked to try something and it's rather odd what he decides to do with her hair. Can I just try? Forgive me if this is rude. I just want to try one thing. Okay. Anton. LGBT news organization, and our question is for Tom Hardy. In the film, your character Ronnie is very open about his sexuality, but given interviews you've done in the past, um, your own sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex to talk to media about their sexuality? Tom Hardy has been consistently asked about his sexuality, and this day he decides that he's had enough. So this reporter really didn't know what he was getting into. What on earth are you on about? <laughs> I was referring to an interview given to Attitude magazine a few years ago. But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank you. you. Okay. Cara Delevingne, I think your embarrassment threshold is quite high. Why? Well, <coughs> and we were talking I'm backstage. Right now. No, we're well, talking we, backstage. The thing know, about, we're uh, about that having sex on a plane. <coughs> <laughs> As you have, clearly. In 2017, on Graham Norton's show, Graham decides to have a little comedy bit and ask who else has had sex on a plane. Graham outs himself, and the others are rather quiet and trying not to answer. So you were having, you were having uh, <coughs> sex on a plane, and someone was watching you. Yes. Yeah. Um. The pilot? Yeah, it was... Uh, we, we, I don't even know how to start the story. No, we weren't. They weren't in the toilet. They weren't in the toilet. Well, sorry. Traditionally, the ball would be spinning yeah, round. <laughs> Again. Well, you, you spin it. that one way and yeah. then you throw the ball. Oh, in. right. Well, you yeah. do it then. And you, uh, yeah. yeah, put it in and I'll you, spin I'll, it. Oh, you okay. spin it. Yeah, spin that and then throw no, it in. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> On this talk show, they're playing a game in which they have to take the ball and throw it around the roulette table. Well, Ariana ends up dropping the ball and one of the other guests comments how he thought she would be better with balls. They then talk about their odd talk show experiences and this same gentleman talks about meeting Cameron Diaz when Ariana gives this clap back. In my, in my head, head, you had one job. <laughs> in my head, you were so much better with balls. <laughs> She was wearing this sort of sheer top, oh. and there with her man, so just backstage, just about to go on, she went, Did you oh. imagine how she'd be with balls as well? <laughs> <laughs> In this interview from The Conan Show, Olivia Munn is asked about how it felt that Johnny Depp kept grabbing her boob and whether or not it's just work at that point. Like in that big dancing, there was a scene where at the end of everything, he's got to touch my breast every time and just like hold his hand there, which can be Wait very- Wait a minute, what was that all about? Um, it was in the script. <laughs> it's one of those- Are you sure it was or had he penciled? <laughs> <laughs> was it in pencil and it looked a lot like his a, handwriting? It was in 